Hi there, welcome back. So here we are now in our WordPress blog. Uh, HighlyPaidExperts.com is the one we're utilizing for our example today. And what we want to do is understand, first of all, what we have here is one of the default themes that when you install your blog on WordPress, you have a theme called the Responsive Theme. And that's the theme that's being used right now, which is responsible for the way the front page looks. See here is an example. This is what it looked like in its raw form. As you can see, um, I have a banner up there now, uh, sorry, a header. And so that's uh, something I've changed. As you can see here, this picture here, well, right now I have an opt-in form. You see this area here? Well, I have a different write-up and I have a different uh, mention here on the call to action button. And then these are the areas that I'm talking about in this video, which is how do you edit these various widgets. So again, we're in the responsive theme. We're going to go to where it says widgets. We're coming over to all the section where it has all the widgets. And you'll see where, where it actually named it on the page. So here it said home home widget 1, home widget 2, home widget 3. So I was going to edit actually first of all home widget 2. So the new way they do it is they just tell you where in the editor you need to go in order to edit this, okay? Different than some of these other ones where you're actually putting the code and editing in here. So over here, area 7, doesn't matter about that part, but what you want to pay attention to is sidebar home. Dot PHP. We come over to what's called the editor. We're editing the appearance of our theme is really what it is. So when you click on editor, this is the theme editor, you see that it has the responsive theme as the theme we're talking about. And on the side here, we're going to scroll down. See where it says sidebar home. We're clicking there. This is not for the necessarily the most uh, you know basic of a tutorial. You're going to need to be able to navigate your way only through this code. You do not need to know any code. You just need to understand where to go inside the code. So what am I doing? I'm just getting clues with my eye. Oh, I see home widget three. Oh, I see home widget two home widget 1. So I'm already going to be able to anchor my brain into the general section. Okay, so home widget 2. So where's the first time it mentions it? Okay, so here we are. Apparently this is the area. And so what I want to do is go to where those words um, were showing. And this is the words that were showing. Home widget 2. Now if I put something in there instead, which I just pasted something I already had, I wanted to title. And then, remember I talked about that video being there? Well, right here is the video URL. And this is really just me pasting in the URL and potentially if I wanted changing these items. So I just put that in there and that's how that video got in there. And it's the same with each of the areas and this is a different video I will install a different title here so I can put the word title just so you see when I go back and if I click to update file set it edited successfully and if I go back to the site home page okay and if I scroll down look at that. So you don't need to know any code, but you do need to know how to be able to work within an area that is coded. This is the new wave. If, if you know how to just do the simplest things, uh, I'll show you how to do them. Uh, you can actually do a lot of great stuff. Of course, this doesn't look the prettiest right now. I see that maybe I should shorten this up to just, you know, one line. And of course, this is going to be renamed. Uh, this was just a short video to give you the general idea of how you actually go ahead and change these particular titles and how do you put your own content in the various sections. Well, down here, for example, we showed you in the theme editor.